Hi, I'm Ken Burkain. I'm the founder and CEO of Beautiful and the Beautiful Salons. So I started Beautiful in 2009 based on some insights that I collected while I was working at Procter & Gamble. And I realized uh, at that time, even though there was a line for relaxed and natural hair, that there wasn't a company, a brand, that was specifically focusing on the needs of women with textured hair. Hi, it's Miley Till, and I am the founder and CEO of Curlbox. Ken is insanely smart, and I had reached a point in my life that I knew that I wanted more in life, and the only way that I was gonna have more in life was to surround myself with people that were sharp, and that had it together. We kept in touch over the years and um, we've been friends for over a decade now. And it was a, a pleasure to watch her grow um, from that 21 year old into her mid 20s and late 20s. And finally in 2010, when I was launching um, the Beautiful brand, I had no PR rep. I had, you know, I was doing a lot on my own. And I picked up the phone and I contacted my leak. And that was the reconnection of the relationship that it started from just having a conversation and saying, let's keep in touch, um, let's track each other. So that doesn't happen often for me. I rarely meet somebody who at that age has you know, that it factor that some people talk about. Uh, but my leak definitely had it and um, our relationship continues um, today. All right, we are at the Beautiful Salon, and Ken's gonna take us around and show us some of the fantastic offerings that they have. I've been here once before, but I really didn't have time to check it out. No, Let's you were go. being a superstar at the grand opening. I was at the grand opening. Okay, show me what you got. Is in a is this a house or was it? Did it used to be? It's a graystone. Graystone. So it's a graystone. We're um, on one of the more famous boulevards here in Chicago, corner of 35th and King Drive. So there's a little bit of history here. Um, it also used to be a salon where Johnny Wright worked out. Oh so, wow, uh, Johnny Wright. Um, so it's got a lot of good vibes. So tell us a little bit about, I love how these stations have these awesome like full length mirrors so you can pretty much see what's going on and there's not a lot of like uh, stuff out. Like I noticed no. that all of this stuff kind of tucks away which is very cool. I guess I'm giving the tour now. Y you um. are. We have six styling stations on this side Okay. Um, and we have very little waiting room because in Basically, we don't have waits. Um, okay. We're appointment only, so it's a it's a very quaint. It's not going to be overly crowded. We're not jamming clients in. Yeah. So one of the things that we're known for is obviously hydration and hair steaming. Okay. And so these are our beautiful professional hair steamers. Okay. Um, they're not sold in retail yet. Okay. But um, they are designed just like the portable hair steamers that people know. Um, we do a lot of volume. Every service we do here at the salon incorporates the hair steam treatment. So if I come, I've got to get my hair steamed. We insist on it because okay. if you can properly hydrate hair before you start the styling and manipulation, you're going to significantly decrease the probability of any breakage, any split ends. People always ask us, like, if I'm steaming at home, it, what's the difference between just kind of walking around with a plastic cap on and actually yeah. sitting under a steamer if I have my steamer at home? Yeah, well, the major difference is hydration. Okay, so let's go check out this cleansing station that looks very cool. I love the way you guys have this set up. Tell me a little bit about it. We start every session, obviously, with shampoo and cleansing. We call it cleansing because it's more than just a shampoo. We're really trying to loosen up dirt on the scalp. We're trying to promote growth from the scalp. So we spend a lot of time in the shampoo bowl. Okay. Um, we have four healthy hair pillars. We talk about cleansing, conditioning, strengthening, and hydrating. Okay. So this first one, cleansing, sets the stage for everything else. Okay. I get a lot of people asking me, how can I work with friends? How do you think we've managed to work together and still stay friends after having some major, major blow-ups? You know, I wouldn't call it blow-ups, probably disagreements, would you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's only when I'm right is it a problem. But I, I, I think um, for me, because we're first and foremost friends, right. that I know that my best interest is at heart when you say something and vice versa. So right. when you surround yourself with people who really don't have your best interest at heart, then the things that they're gonna say sometimes are malicious. It's intended and designed to bring you down versus to raise you up. It's important to have someone that loves you and that you can trust enough to say, you know what? So I think it's totally doable. You can do business and we can, I can be 
you know, we can be wrong or we can be right, but we always make sure that when you have someone around that absolutely cares, you're fine. I'm starving. Sorry. You get that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we are at the Trunk Club Men's Styling Service in Chicago. And we're here because we want to talk about how personal style is important as you journey through your career. Ken, tell us about, you know, tell us about Trunk Club and your experience and what you've been doing here. Well, I came to the Trunk Club to get really good advice on style. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I like to be comfortable. Uh, I'm not just walking around the salon, I'm, I'm working. Right. Um, but I wanted to have a bit of style um, while I did it. And so this is a great service for men. It's a place where you can come, they'll spend time asking about your personal preferences. There's a full bar. There's a full bar so they give you beer when you walk in. If I'm just an assistant or I'm just a junior something, how important is what I'm wearing in terms of like getting promoted, in terms of people taking me seriously? What do you think about that? The reality is that people look at how you present yourself, how you conduct yourself. I really had to kind of do a self-evaluation and I, you know, I would challenge others to do the same thing. Wow, look at this, you look amazing. I know you love this look. Yeah. It's different for you. It's different. You know, sometimes you need to be challenged with what, your perception of what you think looks great, right? Exactly. And so I probably would never have gone into the stores that I went into to purchase this, but with somebody's help, they can put together things, they know color trends for the season, and they can kind of push you into an area where you might not have originally been comfortable. You're like, you know what, I kind of like this. Awesome. I have had a fantastic time today. We took a look at the beautiful salon, what my friendship with Ken has been all about. And so thanks for all of you for tuning in and we're gonna check out of the Trunk Club and finish up our drinks. <laughs> <laughs>